Hello and welcome to this new tutorial video and in this video we will see how we can test our time series whether it is stationary or not. So this question has been asked by a couple of users uh, when I posted my previous videos related to the time series forecasting and in one, one of the very first video I talked about how why you need to make the time series stationary because stationary time series helps us doing the prediction better and to test whether the time series is stationary or not i have sh sh i have uh, informed one method which is uh, visualizing the time series and just checking if there is no trend or seasonal component and it is uh, it is basically a normal time series without uh, without any trend or seasonality but there are other tests like for example there is Tiki Fuller test, which is a statistical test, as well as the the assumption of the stationary time series is that it the, the mean and variance should be constant over a period of time. So in this video, we will look at the, those three methods. One is visualization, another is uh, uh, Dickey Fuller test, and third is the constant mean and variance about how we can do the checks and then uh, in the end, we will see how we can create a function to automate this entire testing so that you will, uh, all you need to do every time is just pass on some data and see how you can, uh, and see basically whether the time series is stationary or not. All right. So I am in the same workbook or the Jupyter, Jupyter workbook where, which I have used like project for YouTube. And if I go up, at the top, you will see this is the data which I have been using uh, the F underscore path. So I will just copy this instead of writing it again um, over here. And first of all, I will just import some these library import pandas SPD, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and the magic command percentage matplotlib inline once we're done just paste this and i if you remember from the last video i need n rows math parameter which is getting just 365 rows because we have 366 rows and the 366 rows contains the value of the year so if i go ahead and execute this and just check the couple of last values using the tail method yeah so we have got it fine so what usually happen if you have not seen the previous video we were getting one row below to the 31st december and that was nothing but uh, this title daily total birth daily total female birth in California and then 1959 which is the year of value which was making this time series skewed or uh, going haywire because uh, the statistics was not coming properly. So we saw it in the first video and we were removing it afterwards and one of the methods is pick, picking up the number of rows like how many number of rows you need so there are 365 rows and that's what I need uh, from this data set so anything after 365 will be removed. So the very first thing is uh, creating the um, creating the uh, histogram f underscore birth dot plot. So this will not create the histogram, though it will just print the series. So first, I will just print the series like this, and what it is doing uh, or what it is indicating that there is. Uh, there is a variance and the variance is not constant as you can see it's going up and down and there's bit of a, a trend or seasonality in it so this indicates that uh, though it seems like it's not having a very strong seasonal or trend component there may be a bit of a seasonality but not a strong uh, trend component but uh, we will further see by plotting the histogram as well as uh, doing those tests whether this is stationary or not. So F underscore but we will need to plot the histogram dot hist 
should plot the histogram for us. So this is the histogram uh, that basically indicates looks like a normal distribution, but uh, some of the observations are going a little bit towards on the right hand side. Uh, tells us that it is little skewed, where the you know skewed towards the right tail. So after this, what we can do is uh, is basically check whether it has the constant mean and variance. So as you can see, what we have is uh, 365 rows. So maybe what we can do is we can take um, we can divide this into uh, 300, maybe 200 and 165 rows. So f underscore birth underscore one equals to f underscore birth from zero to two zero one. If you remember from my previous video, two zero one is exclusive. So that means you will get the row from zero to two hundred. That's why I have mentioned two hundred two zero one. F underscore birth two f underscore birth and 201 to 365 since it is the last row it will be included that so if we go and quickly check it especially sorry especially the second f underscore birth underscore two dot tail 12 31st yeah so we are fine i was just making sure that we get the last row properly now let's go ahead and check the mean f underscore birth underscore one dot mean so the mean is 40 and if i say f underscore birth underscore two dot mean and it is 44 so it's a different mean so our assumption is for the stationary time series is that mean should be same but in this case mean is coming different so first uh, it is making it making it clear that it is not stationary and then we can run another test finding the variance dot var so variance is 49 similarly f underscore birth underscore 2 dot var and 49.35 slight difference and that's what it was apparent from the this series as i was mentioning that looks like bit of a, a seasonal trend and the fluctuation though is uh, seems to be bit of a constant along so for example there is a little bit of a trend with constant variance so that's what it is becoming apparent from this this method all right once we are done with this then um, the last thing that we can do with this is the decay fuller test or how they usually call is the augmented decay fuller test this test basically tells you how strongly a time series is defined by a trend and it is one of the most widely used test because uh, it clearly tells you whether the time series is stationary or not by by using the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis null hypothesis indicates that the series is not stationary whereas uh, if the null hypothesis is uh, rejected then alternative hypothesis obviously that uh, series ha is stationary so to do the testing we need to import this package stats models stats models dot tsa dot stat tools and we need to import ad fuller once we execute this uh, we have this function called ad fuller so what i'll do is uh, create a variable like test or maybe just to be very specific ad test augmented decay fuller adf so after that we say ad fuller and within that we need to specify our series so i think it may give us some issues but let's go ahead and execute it yeah because it is a data frame but what it needs is basically series so since this 
data set has one column i will just go ahead and say f underscore birth dot values all right it is still saying so what i'll do is i will first convert this into a series and just check over here we have used the read csv method okay and the number of rows is this all right not an issue and uh so birth underscore series equals to pd dot series f underscore birth dot values if i execute this data must be one dimensional so let me go ahead underscore birth dot values what do i get is basically this array and if i ex Take this into birth underscore series, which is similar to this if you observe. So if I go ahead and execute this, ideally it should give me earlier it was giving me the result when I was testing this code. So let me just check the type birth underscore series numpy dot nd array okay and if i do must be one dimensional all right no worries so what i'll do is quickly go ahead and here if you remember there is this parameter squeeze equals to true and this is nothing but it is converting if i say type f underscore path panda dot core dot series okay no worries so now if i come over here i have just converted this properly into f underscore path i can probably check this later and let you know in the comments or somewhere why it is not working f underscore path and now it is working fine so now we can get the statistics out from the adf test so adf underscore test zero which is minus 4.8 this is the dickey fuller test uh, value and uh, the rule of thumb you need to follow here is that less of the value uh, better your score is that means if it is like coming tomorrow minus five by doing let's say some transformation then it is much more better and uh, to get the p value which is the standard value you may have seen in many uh, tests that p value if it is less than 0 0.05 you will reject the null hypothesis and say alternative hypothesis is true so this indicates that minus 0 0.05 that means after four zeros the value will start from 0 0.00005 and then uh you know the rest of these value two four three four one so that means it's obviously less than 0 0.05 this will this will indicate that the the series is uh, stationary enough that you can go ahead and uh, do the time series analysis so all in all these are three quick ways in which you can do all of this in all of this uh testing to identify how much stationary your time series is or not and then move ahead accordingly and dickey fuller test basically confirms whether it is stationary or not if you look at the p value and uh, if you are doing a transformation just to bring down the value of the dickey fuller test statistic that means you are doing better if it is increasing that means you are your time series is uh, having a stronger impact by a stronger trend as i mentioned in the start now the last part part is how you can make all of this automatic so that you are just passing the information like read underscore csv this this data set it is reading this data set and then you know uh doing all of the in all of the in all of the processing so for example we just passed the information okay this is the data set value and then go ahead and keep doing it so to do that what we can do is 
we can start defining the function so automation of testing right and to define a function if you know already the function def is used uh, adf underscore test and within that you you can pass the parameter which is data set and then we can start writing the, uh, the code after that we need to say ds which is we are creating an object of data set pd dot read underscore csv and pass the parameter data set name we want index underscore column to be zero even this can this you can also make it parameterized like saying comma and to which column 0 1 2 you to which column you want to make it parameterized so that is also dynamic but in this case I'll just go ahead and make it do a straight away uh, uh, assuming that you have uh, first column as date column and the and the next column is your time series values parts underscore dates equals to 0 that means it is in first column again you can make it dynamic and uh, for this data set we are in taking 365 so just need to make sure that uh, it is for the uh, daily data set for one year again you can make it dynamic like how many rows you want and uh, squeeze equals to true to create a series all right and then we will say print ts dot histogram right because we need to print the histogram just to make sure that it is uh, or just to know whether uh, it is a normally distributed or following a Gaussian distribution so if I execute this it will work fine so to test it what do I need to do is uh, ADF underscore test and in that I need to mention the data set name daily total female female Bots in cal.csv entire data set name that is here we specified manually right so if we go ahead and do this what we get is the histogram right perfect all right so once we have done this we can go ahead and uh, uh, first of all to get the mean we need to divide the data set and uh, to do the we can create one variable ds underscore split to find the length of the, the series that means how many rows it contains like 365 in this case divide by 2 that means we are dividing it 50 50 but it will result a float value so we need to convert it into an integer and this is something we will going to specify in the the range that we will use to define the split so ds1 equals to uh, ds from 0 to ds underscore split that means from 0 to whatever that uh, 50 range is so we are making it we have already made it dynamic ds ds underscore split to last row so this is 0 to 50 percent and then from 50 percent to the last row right and now we can say print mean one comma ds1 dot mean just need to make sure that we have imported the relevant libraries because if we have not this will not going to work so what I mean by that is over here itself from pandas import pd uh, from matplotlib dot plot import sorry import matplotlib dot plot as plt over here also I mention it wrong import pandas as PD and percentage matplotlib in line 
okay so whatever you have done earlier you are just making it a generic code so that you don't have to write it again and again very very useful for scenarios when you need to automate your data science tasks yes one dot variance print variance two ds comma ds2 underscore variance and finally we need the ticket fuller stats statistic models dot tsa dot stat tools we need to import ad fuller and adf underscore test is ad fuller and pass the ds which is a time series as you saw it earlier we faced some issue AD Fuller statistic is ADF underscore test zero. Copy this, paste again, and I will just say P value. P value, and that is your within the parameter range one. I think we are pretty much there, right? Because that's what we did earlier up until like zero and one. You can do what. I mean, a lot of different things in here and be creative. As you can see, it's nothing but uh, whatever we have done, we have just printed it out over here. And if I execute this, yeah, it's expected underscore should be dot. All right. So all of this statistic is over here. So we have got mean here. We have got mean two over here. We have got variance over here. We have got variance two over here. So now you see if we are perfectly uh, dividing between 50 50 data set, the mean one is this 39.763, mean two is 739.763. So here, all here, you clearly uh, got the idea that this is a stationary time series, right? The variance is indicating that there is a little bit of a variation between the two data set. However, to be perfect stationary, the variance should be constant. And over here also, it is saying that it is little bit long right tail, right? Because of this, these values that we are getting it over here. And the P value is also indicating that it is a stationary series. And AD Fuller statistic is uh, useful if you are uh, having running the uh, transformation on your data set and identifying that uh, whether ad fuller statistics is going more and more down that means smaller is better so that's about how you can do all of these settings and uh, make it complete automatic test so next time if if you are getting a similar data set you can pass it over here but i will leave you with the uh, with one challenge that you need to make these things automatic, right? These three parameters. So this, just to give you a hint, you need to keep on adding the parameters over here to the function. And uh, over here, you will pass on more parameters based on how it has been specified, what is the index column, what is the power state, and how many rows you want. I think that is you. that is something you can do it very easily once you have got to know all about this. So that's about it and I hope you liked it. If you have liked it, please do share with your friends and colleagues and uh, don't forget to comment it uh, and let me know what your thoughts are. So thank you for watching this video.